Hey yo, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video and today we'll actually be showing you how to do something extremely cool. Yeah, I can't stress about how cool this is. I use this all the time in streams. I enjoy it because other people enjoy it too. Now, if you didn't realize from the title, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Bongo Cat keyboard cam. Where the Bongo Cat um, hits your keyboard, hits your mouse, I mean moves your mouse, sorry. And uh, it's pretty cool. It's like really cool. Now, what I'm talking about is something you can see on stream right now. You can put it in a webcam frame. It's super, super simple. It doesn't affect your gameplay. Not. It doesn't give you input lag, which is something you actually rarely see. And it's something which is like really cool because it's super responsive. And this kind of isn't something for low-end PCs, but um, anyway. If you have a PC that doesn't normally stream well, or like if you stream with low settings and your game still lags like a whole lot, this is not a good option. But um, I will be making another video on how to improve your settings and how to make it so that your stream quality stays the same while you get less lag. And that is something that I use and it is amazing because I used to get 50 FPS, 40 FPS on a PC that was $2,000 and that was insane. But now I get my full FPS and nothing really changes and it is great. It's amazing. So I just wanted to say that I completely approve of this and I do use this. Like you can go check out my stream, link in the description, top link. But yeah. Um, I'm just going to be showing you step by step on how to do it. It's going to be a file that you'll have to download in the description. And yeah, see ya. You're going to want to go to the description right now and download the um, Bongo Cat V2. And it's probably going to give your downloads, so you're just going to want to go to downloads and drag it to a file or, or stay in your downloads. It doesn't really matter at this point. So go to the V2 file. And now that you're in the V2 file, it's going to look a bit like this. Now, this is the .exe that you're going to want to have. But first, what you're going to want to do is go to your settings. Make sure that mouse is set on to true. And set the keybinds that you want. So when you press these, it makes the cat press the keyboard. Now that you've done this and you've set it to something that you want, it's very, very, very easy to completely the other steps. Now, now that you have this, um, you have it set on true and your keybinds that you want. You cannot, I repeat, you cannot, you absolutely cannot add another key. It's these two keys. I've already tried, trust me, I've tried every single way and you can't. So, I mean, if you find a way to do it, please let me know, but you're going to mess up the file if you do. That's all I'm saying right now. So, after you do this, press save, and so now that you have your settings done, you can go ahead and open the .exe. As you can see, I have it in my taskbar, but it's right here. So now that you have it open, it's very, very simple. It has your mouse right here. It has your mouse. It moves your mouse. It's super consistent. If it goes to the edge of the screen, it goes to the edge of the mouse pad. Very, very easy. Um, yeah, it's very, very cool. Now, if you press the two key binds that I set, so for example, mine, I press E and F. So I press F, or E, sorry. Uh, that goes right there. And I press F, it goes like that. So, you can also, you can also change the, um, you can also change the, um, the up, the left, and the right. So, what it, what this means is that, basically, you can go in Photoshop or something, and if you press left or right, it would show you as a sort of thing. Now, I'm going to make another video on how to make it so it looks like you have a gaming mechanical keyboard. And yeah, you can also change your mouse, but I would not suggest doing that because of the fact that it'd be pretty hard and it's just not consistent. So now that you have your .exe and your... Um, mouse basically so if you didn't put your mouse as true and it's set as like a mouse uh in a tablet right here just press escape and it'll set it to the mouse now this is something that's going to be very very easy so you just want to have this open so now that you have this open just go ahead and close that using the underscore now um go to a new source now that you've gone to a new source 
um, basically go to game capture, add source, add source again, and then go to capture a specific window. And now go to the option that says window. Window and go all the way down to bongocat.exe. So now that you've pressed that, um, there's not really anything else you need to do. Um, so yeah, you just press done. And so now you've done this, you just have to open this once and it will go to the right size. Now, what you want to do is now you have your own bongo cat sort of thing. And what I do is I put it in the corner, right click like this, and now it's completely working and it's completely fine. So, now you've done this, you press E and F and the bongo cat works just fine. Super, super responsive. And so yeah, you have your thing right there. You can also download webcams from um, the store or another way is to um, get Photoshop and get a webcam oh, a webcam frame just put it in there edit the text it's, it's pretty simple there's a lot of tutorials out there I'll link one in the description so now that you've done that you've got a successful working bongo cat webcam um, so yeah if you guys did enjoy this video please 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 leave me a thumbs up and let me know what you want to see in the future if you want any help in sony vegas i can help that i am basically the ultimate tutorial that you guys need so yeah uh let me know what you guys think and see you guys later peace